All right, we're now going to look at making shapes into booleans, booleans into shapes. Okay, a boolean is just taking a shape and cutting or adding or subtracting another shape from that shape. So to do this, I'll start out with a square and a circle. So if I take the square and highlight the circle, I can hit control minus and that will cut into that shape a perfect circle, or a perfect half circle in this case. If I go to the top here and add another circle, I can click, hold shift, click, and hit control plus. And this will add to the piece of geometry. If I have an enclosed shape, like that, I can use that to cut away this one. Just like that. Now all these are located here. There's also some I don't use very much like division, exclusion, and inter intersection. But they are there. Another one I use all the time is this. Let's say I had this piece and I wanted to make something a little bit bigger. I can use Path Dynamic Offset. This is my number one trick. Love this thing. So look at, you can make this a little bit larger all the way around. Let me undo this and show you the power of it. Let's say I did Control D as in dog. This makes a copy of this. So now I have one laying on top of the other. And I'll take one and I'll go path dynamic offset and click and drag. So now I have a perfect copy that follows around the outside edge. And sometimes you'll need to clean some of the things up like in this case dynamic offset wants to go outwards, not inwards, and that's why this happens. Especially on curves. Alright, so those are some tips um, that will get you started when it comes down to designing the easel. And I brought in a picture of what one kind of looks like, a single one looks like, from the internet. And I noticed that, yes, in fact, I had to learn a little bit about Booleans before I did that. So there we go. I gave you something to get you started. Booleans. Enjoy.